besides second grade, the last time we were together, we saw a bunch of examples of stencils and we got to try out some stencils that I already had pre-made so you made a scene. Today you're going to make your very own stencil and we're going to make a scene of butterflies. So you're going to get a white piece of paper today and I want you to put your, your name near an edge, second grade, and your teacher's initial. Then what you're going to do is you are going to fold your paper like a book. You can notice it's the wide way. In half. We are going to draw one half of a butterfly. You want to leave space at the top and bottom because we're going to use the negative space to print our positive space butterfly. So I'm going to start with his head and then I'm going to go into a wing and the wing can be kind of fancy if you want it to. Maybe it has little parts that come out and then I'm going to make the bottom part of the wing. And don't forget at the bottom might be his body. All right. While you have that together, you're going to take your scissors. Notice it's still attached to the top and the bottom. You are going to cut along those lines. You're turning the paper, not the scissors. You cannot cut um, away like this because that'll ruin your stencil. So you want to make sure you are just turning your paper. Okay. So if I need to make this tight turn, I just turn it all the way. And then when the paper's turned to where I need it to be, then I keep cutting. Line like so, and around. Now this part is the positive space. That's not a stencil. When you open up this part, it's the negative space, and now I have a stencil. Once you have yours all cut out, you can put both your positive space and your negative space inside your folder at your table. We are going to do something with this part and with this part. All right, thank you so much for listening.